Management of the lube oil system will be one of the most important management items of daily maintenance. Here, I will explain the typical management method for lube oil. First, I will explain the typical cleaning procedure for lube oil system in the vessel. Select the purifier based on gravity board selection procedure described in the operation manual of purifier. The appropriate interval for discharging the sludge varies with the quantity of the mixed in insoluble content, so adjust the interval for discharging after having checked the degree of dirt of the bowl. Conduct the cleaning treatment with the feeding oil quantity covering 20 to 25 percent of the rating capacity of the purifier. Set the heating temperature at 90 to 95 degrees centigrade. Keep the temperature variation within plus or minus 2 degrees. Continuous overflow cleaning method allows you to curb the dirt level of the lube oil to a certain level because it is the method with its own tank and constantly cleans the lube oil during the operation. Transfer the lube oil in both the sump tank and overflow tank from the settling tank regularly to carry out the cleaning of the tanks. For batch cleaning treatment, the lube oil is regularly replaced by the cleaned lube oil. Therefore, you need to determine the replacement interval by watching the dirt level of the lube oil in the sump tank. For example, transfer the lube oil of number 2 diesel engine generator to the tank. Let the already cleaned lube oil flow to number 2 diesel engine generator. Transfer the used lube oil to the settling tank. In preparation for the replacement next time, conduct the cleaning treatment for the used lube oil. Set the cleaning time in such a way that the lube oil of the settling tank flows to the purifier 20 times or more. Regularly carry out the cleaning of both the sump tank and overflow tank. In case that there is no settling tank and the method accordingly requires you to conduct the cleaning treatment by connecting the sump tank with the purifier one on one, make sure that the takeoff position of lube oil is distant from the return position. You cannot obtain the cleaning effect if the takeoff position and the return position of lube oil are too close together. Analyze the property lube oil after every 500 hours of engine operation. Exchange lube oil based on the table. During the engine operation, check that the lube oil temperature and pressure are within the specified value that you are watching in the video. If they are out of specified value, try to find the cause and take appropriate measures. Here, I will explain the procedure for operating the adjusting valve of the lube oil pressure and thermostatic valve on the engine side. First. I will explain the procedure for operating the adjusting valve of lube oil pressure. Remove the cap nut and loosen the lock nut. Make adjustments in screwing the adjusting bolt and adjust the pressure. After the adjustments, securely tighten the lock nut 
screw the cap nut and the work will be completed. I will continue to explain the procedure for operating lube oil temperature adjustment valve. Remove the cap nut, measure the position of the adjusting bolt and check the valve. After the check, loosen the lock nut, turn the adjusting bolt and adjust the temperature. After the adjustment, tighten the lock nut, fit the cap nut and the work will be completed. I will explain the procedure for cleaning the lubricant oil bypass strainer, which is to be done about once a week. This centrifugal bypass strainer is very effective to control the increase of lube oil contamination during the engine operation. During the engine operation, always open the inlet valve of the bypass strainer to flow the oil through it. It is important to clean it frequently in order to sustain the effect. First, close the valve on the inlet side of the bypass strainer and remove the tightening nut of the main body cover. Detach the main body cover and remove the rotor assembly inside. Loosen the tightening nut of rotor cover and disassemble the rotor. Remove the sludge on the inside wall of the rotor. If the thickness of sludge deposition is over 10 millimeters, the effect of the cleaning will not be produced. Clean the rotor body and rotor cover. Check for the clogging of the nozzle. After renewing O-ring, reassemble the centrifugal bypass strainer in reverse procedure for disassembly. If the paper insert is put in, it will be easy to remove the sludge next time. Fix the reassembled rotor assembly on the main body and check that it smoothly rotates. Fix the main body cover Tighten the nut and the work will be completed. The lube oil strainer fitted on this engine is the automatic backwashing filter. I will explain the mechanism by using the sectional view. Lube oil is filtered by running from inside to outside of the strainer element. The cleaning nozzle rotates during the operation by the turbine that is driven by the lube oil pressure. At the tip of the nozzle, the flow of the lube oil is reverse, dirt is discharged, and filtration and cleaning are constantly repeated. At daily work, check both indicators of revolution and differential pressure while the engine is running. If the red portion appears on the indicator of differential pressure, disassemble the lube oil strainer to check and clean. Remove the air vent plug and drain fluid inside the filter. Detach the cover after draining. Detach the whole filter element from the housing together with the flashing arm and the gear. Be careful not to damage the removed gear too.
Remove the upper plate from the whole element detached. Pull out the filter element from the holder in such a way that you push it up from the bottom and pull it from above. Leave the pulled out filter element soaked in the cleaning agent for 24 hours. Conduct the cleaning by blowing compressed air from the outside of strainer element. It is more effective to use hot water of high pressure instead of compressed air. Conduct the visual check after cleaning. Replace any parts with scratches or dirt. Put the filter element in the main body, return the upper plate, and then insert it into the main body. Change all the O-rings when fixing. Rotate the flashing shaft slightly and engage the gear with the driving pinion of the reduction gear. Finally, fix the cover and the work will be completed.